Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Garage. So today we're gonna start prepping for paint. So let me show you what I have been doing. So here's what I've been doing. I actually removed all the windows. I removed the, like I said, I was gonna remove this in the last video to get that started. And then is what I'm just doing right now is, since this is all off, I gotta scuff up the metal and get it going. So I just took my grinder with the wire wheel and just kind of started scuffing up the metal. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, getting it scuffed and smooth, ready for paint. And then after that's done, I'll be wiping it all down and then getting ready to paint it. So let me get you set up and I'll get you on time lapse and we'll get to continuing scuffing the rest of this. Alrighty, so this is not pretty, but I got her all scuffed down. Um, it's looking actually pretty good as far as the scuffing goes. Um, we're gonna paint these separate. So we're gonna do a two-tone on here. I'm not gonna tell you the color. You can probably see it in the uh, title. But anyway, so we're gonna be painting this, but like I said, it's all scuffed down. It actually took a lot of work. There's a lot of time just scuffing. Um, I got all the fiberglass little holes that I patched filled in and they're nice and smooth. All this will be covered by all the little ones that were around. This one's nice and smooth, can't even tell it's there. So kind of like body work, um, she's good to go. So um, I'm not gonna be able to paint it today. So is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna put these windows back in. And then um, yeah, on the next video, I should start painting. Alrighty, here we go. So this is the color we chose for the top. Bright red. Um, this is a oil-based paint. It is a um, Rust-Oleum product. It's an acrylic, oil-based acrylic. It's professional grade. So it's actually made for aluminum and it's super um, resistant to like scratches and weather and fading and all that. So that's what we used. Um, let me see if I get a shot of the can here. Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Protective Enamel. So that's what we used. And this is the color that we're going. Now on camera, it looks a lot uh, darker than it is, but this is like really, really red. So um, this is the color that we're gonna be going. So uh, let me get you set up again. Um, and I'll start painting on the back. Um, the bottom will be a different color, but the red is gonna be this one. So I just did a couple of test panels here. I was really curious as to how it's gonna turn out and what it looked like. And um, yeah, I liked it. And actually looking right now on the screen of my phone here, this is more of the true color that it is. So it's just bright red. So uh, anyway, let me get you all set up and I'll get to paint more. Alrighty, and I got the red on. I thought I was recording when I was painting this side, however, I was not. So, that's okay. But this is what she looks like all done. Um, it's looking awesome. Oh, you know what? Actually, I have to go back in. Um, there's a little line up here, my tape line. It actually blew off, but anyway, I gotta, re I gotta 
just gotta go touch that up and get out and clean up. This is what it's looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this paint dry just a little bit, let it get a little tackier. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and peel off all this tape here, and then we should be good to go. So yeah, this is what she's looking like right now though. All right, so it is actually a week later. And as you can see, I got the top all taped up, the door prepped, which obviously I forgot to do. So we got that. I'm gonna keep this sticker here just because it's cool and it's vintage. And then there's a couple stickers up front here that I'm gonna keep, but everything is all painted and ready to roll. So let me set you all up and I will get to work. Alrighty, and here she is. She's looking pretty good. It was exhausting, as you can tell. Lucy's over here, just relaxing. She's not much of a good helper, but you know, that's okay. She's here for moral support. But this is what the camper's looking like. It's looking good. One thing, if you are gonna do one of these Tolo pop-up campers, <laughs> paint like the bottom first, and then the top, don't do them both because when you raise it and lower it, you might scuff up the paint. We, um, me and my wife, when we were done painting, we dropped it down to, mit to get some stuff on the second coat and then it ended up screwing up the paint. But yeah, this is what she's looking like. Hi Lou, say hello to everybody. So the paint that I used, I kind of showed it um, a little bit ago here in my video, but let me show you exactly what I am using here. Um, this is a Rust-Oleum product. This is what it looks like. Um, this was the glass white that we used and the red was just red, um, but yeah. So I got debate. Uh, maybe I'll can answer down below in the comments, but um, what color do you feel this is? I know the cameras don't give off true colors. I say it's red. My wife is like, it's orange. I think it's red. She says it's orange, who knows? But anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Um, might be wondering what's going on in my face. My daughter thought it was a good idea to grab my eye and stick her thumb in my eyelid up in there and yank it off. I guess she didn't think I needed both of them. But anyway, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you could drop a comment down below, that'd be great. Um, thank you all for the support and um, everything. If you could hit the subscribe button, that'd be great. Hit that little bell notification. And um, we will see y'all next time on my next video. Peace.